blazer this morning. This thing is cold as hell every time it does not like starting. Jesus! Alright guys, so turns out my battery was like three years old. It was like a Walmart battery. So, you know, three years on a Walmart battery is not really ideal. So I ended up picking up one of these bad Larrys. Optima. Plus, I like how they got the side post for the truck and then the top post for um, all my accessory lights. Because they looked kind of retarded before that. So, just throw one of these on the top. I can put all my light bars, all my extra lights and everything, so I won't have to worry about that anymore. Alright guys, I had this truck like two weeks. These tires are starting to look a little thin. They don't look too bad. So you go to the front, you see what they're supposed to look like. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> that is not. So uh, yeah, once I find out who's been burning my tires, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Figure out who's doing it and uh go from there but every day I wake up dude they're just they're worse every time so I'm kind of curious obviously tires on the back of the truck are not very good so I don't know how good traction is going to be but I kind of want to see what a zero to 60 is on the truck um, I've messed around once I got a brief video before but I wasn't really like trying too hard and with you know i've done a few little things to it with the intake so it's got intake exhaust and track bars basically for performance mods i guess um and like 220,000 miles on it so but basically a stock truck intake exhaust so driving down to mexico and uh there's a big straightaway where there's basically nothing so it'll be a good spot to do zero to 60 runs um so here's gonna be a quick little run. It's actually pretty decent off the line, but once you're up in the RPMs and the shift, it kind of dies off. So but here's what it is. that time it wasn't as good of a launch as the other time but it's about all she got not too fast but then again it is the tow truck it's not really meant to be a race car that's what I got the Pontiac for so but not bad for a 21 year old truck with 220,000 miles on it and an intake and exhaust but again I'm not really even with the Pontiac I don't really care about going fast I like going sideways and melting tires so I think does burnouts pretty good I'll have to get some videos of it melting tires soon these tires are already getting pretty thin so i'm gonna end up buying new tires for it and i'll i'll probably off these ones the rest of the way but i've missed all of the videos of everything i've done on dry pavement with it but it does donuts pretty good on dry pavement and does pretty good brake stands so like i said i'm gonna put a torque converter in it and probably build up the trans a little bit because i want it to withstand to like burnouts and towing but again it's not gonna make it much faster it's just gonna be for tire killing content as as i do um, but I'm really excited. The Pontiac should be coming out soon. We're supposed to have 50 degree weather this week. Not this weekend. It's going to be kind of cold this weekend. But next week, um, it's supposed to be pretty warm. So I'm going to get the Pontiac out and test drive it and make sure the front end feels tight and everything. 
and kind of get ready to start doing stuff, get to preparing, you know, but I'm really, really excited to get stuff moving on the Pontiac. That's how you know the gauges are getting faulty, the truck is completely off, <laughs> and none of them are sitting in the right spot. I don't know if you guys have seen the hood before, it is black, it's kind of a dull black, but I have noticed if I go up to it and I take any one of these faded spots and I start rubbing on it, it starts getting shiny again. So I've got some uh, some of this compound buff rub stuff that usually cleans things up. So I'm going to try to put that on, see if it helps the hood out. Yep, that's a pretty big difference. So I'm going to do the whole hood. It's going to take me a little bit, but it's going to look 500 times better. Well, it definitely didn't come out perfect because, well, I'm not good at this whole outer detailing thing, so I'm trying to get all the streaks out and stuff, especially on black, it's very difficult, but it is no longer like a nasty, dried-looking gray. It is a nice, shiny black now. I think I'm honestly going to take, I think I'm going to take the uh, tint strip off the light bar as well, because um, the whole truck is going to be going black, so with the light bar it'll kind of match the headlights because the headlights are clear and also I mean the type of tint it is it doesn't block out all of the light it's still pretty decent compared to other tint but it definitely does block out some of the light and that kind of defeats the point so ow all right she's untinted again more light and it kind of blends in the headlights a little more I guess so now I got a kind of a funny plan that's gonna happen. Like I said a thousand times, the truck needs a new bed, so I'm gonna get a new bed at some point for it. I'm probably just gonna try to find a black one so I don't even have to paint it. Um, the hood's already black. The tailgate's already black. The bed's gonna be black. So really all there is is like the cab of the truck and the front end to paint. So I think I'm honestly just gonna paint the truck myself, but is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in like increments. So like right now, I'm gonna take the grill off. I'm gonna sand the grill down really good. I'm gonna prime the grill. I'm gonna sand it after I primed it, then I'm gonna paint it black. And I'm just kinda gonna go through it one by one. You know, I might do just the grill today. I might do the grill in the front bumper today. I might just do the grill today. I might do half the stuff tomorrow. I don't really know. It could be a month before everything's actually painted. But if I go one at a time, I'll take more time on it and I won't go all ADD and be like, oh, I need to speed up and finish it. So everything will come out individually really good. And then it'll kinda all come together. So I'll do like the grill, then the bumper individually, then probably like the roof of the truck individually, and then probably the body line, on like this body line down, back individually, then the fenders individually, and then I'm gonna try to buy a black bed, and then I can do the doors and the visor. But I'm gonna do the grill now. Grill's off. I'll stand it down pretty decent. I'm going over it like four times. Wicked smooth and soft. Um, gonna spray some primer over it real quick. Let it dry for a while, do a few coats of primer, probably like three coats. Um, then sand the primer down with a finer grit and uh, let all that dry and then start painting with black. First light coat is on. I'm probably going to end up doing like five coats actually just because I'm going to do the coats in lighter segments so that it comes out nicer. But there's the first coat. We're getting there now down to the last few coats. Obviously I'd rather do more than less, so taking my time on it. Starting on the black now. There we go, it's all done. Came out pretty decent. Well, the paint came out nice, but it looks a little weird on the truck since the rest of the truck's tan, so I really gotta start getting the things. I'm gonna paint the bumper next. Um, Cause it looks like it's wearing a mask or something right now, and I don't like it. <laughs> so, the uh, bumper on the bottom is next, so at least the entire front of it will be black. All taped off, removed the grill. Took the light bar out, but I didn't like unwire because I'm not doing that, it's just out of the way. And I uh, taped off the fog lights, so I'm gonna start sanding it. It's all primed up. Um, there's a few spots that were a little chunkier, so I am gonna sand down a little bit so it's nicer. And then I'll start with the coats of black. Turn the truck around because it's a little too windy, but 
I mean, I think we're pretty much good. Went over it as much as I could. I can't see any spots I've missed, so I'm gonna let it dry for a little longer, and uh, then I can put the light bar back in and take all the tape off, put everything back together and look at it in the sunlight. And there's the final product. Not really, honestly, that bad. I mean, you can kind of tell it's rattle can paint, but not really horrible. Pretty happy with how it came out. It came out pretty clean, smooth. Obviously, there's holes from where the license plates were before, but there's no, like, major paint errors. There's just damage that was already on the bumper, but I'm liking it. It's coming out pretty damn good. I can't wait till the whole thing's black, but at least the front end is black now, and it's not just kind of, like, half of it. Um, yeah. That's the, uh, final product. I'm not really sure when I'm going to be getting to the rest. I think the next thing I'll do is probably the roof because I'm, I'm trying to go like as coordinate as I can if I do the roof you can't see it as much um, but if I do the fenders then I kind of have to get to the doors and the bed quickly so I'm just kind of the front's done the back's done I'll do the top and then I can start doing the sides 